It says rotate your phone. You can't turn your phone while recording. Oh, I think what? it caught it. It caught it now. I'll be the right direction. I don't know. Um, if anyone's there, can you can you let us know if we're sideways for you? Because we're sideways for us. But if you're seeing it, Why would it do that? then it's fine. Are we sideways? Whoever has shown up. We are sideways. <laughs> we're sideways. Okay. Okay. We're going to stop this live. We'll be back in two seconds. Yeah. Fixing this. All right. So we're still on YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> I know. <laughs> still Why? recording on YouTube. Sorry, guys. We're going to fix this here. That? Maybe because it we started the video before it was sideways, maybe. Is your rotation locked? Or? That's the ringer. I I don't have rotation lock. Rotation is not. Oh, there we go. It worked now. Don't worry about typing anything. Oh, you could paste it. Okay. All right. Gonna start over. There we go. Coming in normal now. All right. All right. We're good. Can we introduce ourselves or? Oh, hi. Hi, I'm Monica. I'm Lindy from Huckleberry Mountain Botanical School of Herbalism. Tonight, we're going to make up for the fact that we had to miss last night's live. My foot was hurting pretty bad. It's doing much, much better today. So last night was a rest for me. Um, and if you didn't hear what happened, it was, it was a glass shatter accident. Some glass hit my foot and cut me pretty badly. So anyway, tonight we're going to be making the ginger liqueur and the grand fur syrup. No. Ginger liqueur, grand fur vodka? Why don't you look at the name? Oh. It's not a syrup. Grand fur vodka. Grand yes. fur vodka. And then we're also going to be making our first um, Christmas, what do we call this? Preparation. <clears throat> we'll be making an herbal bath salt that's called, I wish I could remember things, sleepy herbal bath. And so if you got our PDF, then you have the recipe. We won't be sharing exact things here. If you do want the recipes for all the different Christmas gifts that we have, you'll need to jump over to our Academy site, academy.huckleberrybotanicals.com and sign up for our Christmas PDF and you'll have access to um, the all the recipes as well as the shopping list and I guess that's it. Yeah. It's, it's inexpensive and a really easy way to get all your Christmas gifts done because now you can make mm -hmm. them by hand. Hi, Shamra. Hi, Shamra. All right, but before we do that, I'm gonna start out with the ginger liqueur because we have to simmer it, and while it's cooling, we can be making the other things. So first, uh, let me talk to you a little bit about how we measure ginger. <laughs> because we ran into this problem the other day. I told someone to use two inches of ginger and to cut it up, and then they would simmer it, and. <laughs> They wrote me and said, wow, that's like super strong. And I'm like, really? I mean, it shouldn't have been that strong. You know, it was only a couple of inches of ginger and three cups of water. So it, it should have been a totally normal amount. And she goes, well, it took a lot of ginger to give two, two inches. And I was like, what are you talking about? A lot of ginger to make two inches. She did two inches at the bottom of the pan. Okay. So I'm not sure how big the pan was, but she went two inches up with ginger and then only put three cups of water. So I wanna make sure that I am being clear about how we measure ginger. When I say two inches, that means you're taking off part of the ginger. You're getting about two inches worth of the root. Okay, one, two. In this case though, we're, measure, we're measuring differently. We're actually measuring according to weight. But um, yeah. So we're not going, don't, don't do, if I say two inches of ginger, assume that I'm always meaning, wow, the size of the actual um, rhizome, yeah. you know, the ginger root. Hi, Susan. Hi, uh, Julaine. Yep, Julaine. That's Julaine. right. We got it. Just want to make sure. We're, we, we've got Julaine. this. Julaine. Yes. And Should tonight I will be going on my um, live Q&A. And this is for all my students, not just my uh, certified students. And we will be talking about stinging nettle 
Uh, I got a question, I don't know, I guess about a week ago asking about um, harvesting nettle, when can we do it, you know, oxalates and that kind of thing. Oh, um, here, let me move you over because now I feel okay. squished. Okay. We got water, sugar, we're sticking that in there. And then um, a teaspoon. Just chopping this up small, right? Yeah, just chop it up. A teaspoon of chamomile. We're going to make this ginger liqueur here. Anyway, I got a question about that. And then the other question that I got was in regards to using mullen um, for your, I'm assuming the, the gut microbiome is what they were doing. So we're going to talk a little bit about the gut microbiome. What is it? Uh, how do we take care of it? Things like that. And then we'll talk about um, mullen and whether that's an appropriate herb. And I'll talk about some other herbs that would be maybe better. Yes. Thank you, Jelaine. She likes my apron. Oh, yes, a very cute apron. Um, and then when I talk about nettle, I will be talking about um, kidney health and in, in regards to kidney stones. And just kind of talking about how to help with that because that's, that's primarily the issue with the thought of taking um, the, the leaves later in the season is that potential for kidney irritation or urinary tract irritation. And so we'll be talking about that as well. And just giving you some ideas on how you can go about creating a healthier um, urinary system. Okay. All right, drop it in there. Okay, so while this is heating up, all I'm gonna do is heat this up to the point that the um, sugar melts. I'm not gonna simmer it or anything like that because once I get this sugary kind of syrup stuff made, we're going to dump it into our jar and then top it with vodka. And that will sit for the next week. And then we, next week we will strain it. Make a drink. And next Thursday we're making a drink with it. Yep. So. And with the liqueur that we're, or the. The Douglas fir vodka. Douglas fir, yeah. We're gonna do, use, both of those. Okay. Love the feeling of excellence. So while this is getting coming up to a simmer and you know melting the sugar, we will work on our Christmas gift. I love herbal bath salts. I I think that the addition of the magnesium on top of the herbs is really really nice. The one thing is you need to make sure to use a muslin bag or a sock. Mm -hmm. or something to hold it in yeah otherwise herbs are going to be going down your drain and you don't want that yeah and it's the the salt will melt and totally dissolve into the water and the only things that then will be left in your little bag are the herbs so you'll have all the rest of it kind of dispersed into your tub and the herbs will will blend in there as well and what's nice about putting them in right now especially as we add some oils in there is that they're gonna absorb into that salt and really the salt will draw in the some of the constituents mm -hmm. and some of the aromatics yes. of the chamomile really nice. and the lavender and the linden, which are all very relaxing. Yeah, it does make a huge mess without the bag shamrock. Oh yeah, yeah, use a bag. I mean, you know, the, the thought of throwing, you know, rose petals and um, lavender flowers in the tub and have them free floating is like really... Until they get stuck in your hair. Right. It's an idyllic idea. It's, it's kind of like, oh, I see this on movies. Well, yeah, but they've got people who are doing movie sets and they're, you know, the people cleaning up afterwards. Otherwise, you're getting out of this relaxing bath and you've been surrounded in rose petals and now you're draining and you're like you know, battling with yeah, the petals as they get near they're probably the... not even floating anymore. <laughs> right. So it's just not as... So Susan says, magnesium romantic. is so important many are deficient and have no clue. It's oh, true. Yes. A lot of people today oh. are deficient in magnesium because soil quality has gone down massively. Yeah. And one of the things I will be talking about um, at some point, I'm not sure if it'll be one of my Q&As or in my certificate course, is understanding the signs of low magnesium mm -hmm. and understanding that what a lot of times we see as um, like, oh, I'm just stressed or you know, I'm really tense or whatever, it could potentially be an indicator of low magnesium. So. Honestly, just playing with the Epsom salts is 
soothing and soothing. relaxing. Well, can you stop playing with them and get me a peeler? Yes. Because we're going to... This stuff is melted here. Thank you. We're going to put in a little bit of orange peel. How much orange peel do I need? You need... Peel of half, half of a small orange. Okay. I'm actually halving mm -hmm. this recipe. Mm -hmm. So, because I just, I just want a little bit. We have, we have so, so many, many different, different syrups, and the problem is, well, right, syrups and liqueurs. Yeah, right now we can't have any of it <laughs> because we're on the whole thirty. Yeah. So we're producing things and. We can't have them. Not consuming. Right. So they're just adding up. Yeah. They are really adding up. Okay. All right. So the sugar is melted. I'm going to put all of the ginger in here because I want to have a nice strong ginger liqueur. And then um, I'll go ahead and pour. I want about one quarter of a cup of the syrup. Probably more. It's only about halfway up the jar. No, yeah. Oh, yeah. You want quarter three of quarters of a cup of vodka. What can I take this off? Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and pour the vodka on. And now, once it's in there, we're just going to let it sit and steep and pull all that magic out. Mmm, yeah, that smells good. Yeah, where's the lid? Do we have a lid? All mm, right. That's nice. It's going to be really nice. We're going to be making this really yummy um, beverage next week. I'm super excited about it. Okay. And just, just so you know, you guys, I'm really tired. This last couple of nights with the pain Ooh. in my foot, it's actually kept me awake. It's been waking me up off and on all through the night. I'm so happy it's feeling better today. I just, I, I'm like, oh my goodness, I can walk and it's not painful. Yeah, and, not in too much pain. Whew, were so we gonna nice. do this while that was cooling? We were, but I just went ahead and did that. I forgot to let it cool. That's okay. All right, magnesium. All right, what you need to do is the oil and the lavender oil together. So. Do so that. remember that essential oils, even in baths, need to be diluted with a carrier oil. Yes, you need to get a carrier oil in there. And I have the correct um, ratio put in there, so follow those directions and don't, don't try to, if you want to put more of the essential oil, add more of the carrier oil. Okay, you need to keep that in, um, in your mind when you're making it. I would recommend not doing that I, I think that the scent is plenty with the amount that I have in here but like I said if you want more that's fine just understand too it's gonna take a little longer to dry because we're gonna be putting this on a tray in our dehydrator mm -hmm. and it's gonna take a little bit longer to dry if you but use extra oil um, yeah. hi Janine are you talking about ingredients for the ginger liqueur or the salt the bath salts I'll just wait for you to respond hi Katie yeah, just so everyone knows that um, within a few days of doing our lives, our recipes are available in the free herbal content. And you can jump over there, you can get um, the actual recipe, write it down in your book or whatever you want to do. Hi, Katie. And then you can watch the video again. So all the recipes that we are going to share will be in our free content and eventually on our blog. The, this bath one... It's not though. Oh, the bath one, no. The yeah. bath one is only available. If you want the specific measurements, then go purchase our. You have to purchase Christmas the Christmas gift, gift PDF because it's I'm doing this special for the people who purchased the um, herbal gift PDF. Seven dollars, right? Seven bucks. Seven dollars. Yes. All right. All right. We're doing it. Okay. So we've got this, and the other thing that we need to do is. What's going on? Oh, thank you. Can you get me a tablespoon measure, please? Oh, oh. that's got oil in it. Oh. Okay. Well, we're just having good times here. Okay. If you are dealing with um, larger 
like we're going to be using some linden, I am going to kind of grind it slightly. Not a lot. I'm not going to turn it into a powder by any stretch of the imagination. It's just so... It, yeah, it's got it the bracts so on here space. and all the... Yeah. <laughs> it's so fluffy. And I'm just going to barely do this. So Shamra said that she bought sage and molasses today for the burnt sage stuff. Oh, nice. nice. Let us know how it goes. Ah. And let me know how it tastes because okay. I still don't know. Because I can't. Ah. Taste it. Except that these puppies aren't breaking There's no me. sugar. Anyway. Yeah, let's get a little bowl. I'm just going to, I'm going to massage it. Do. Massage, massage. This table is very full. <laughs> I know, we have so much stuff on oh, our table right now. We don't usually do three recipes in one night. No, I think the only time that we've done that is when we did the special longer live. We only are doing this because yeah. I didn't I really didn't want to miss the Christmas gift thing, but then I can't miss this either because the drink next week is based on the stuff we make tonight. So it's kind of like, oh gosh, we have to do it. Yeah. It's not a choice. I know. Not an option. And I'm feeling pretty tired, too. <laughs> Can you tell we're tired? We I think we feel tired. I, I feel like I look really tired, and I'm acting very tired. Yeah, well. Kind of like a, a toddler can tell when adults are tired. Toddler can tell? No, like a toddler. Like how you can tell someone's oh, like a toddler. I see. Okay. Wow, this was tired. the smallest bowl. It really is restrictive. You're welcome. Restrictive. And you love being restricted, right? Yes, I love it. It's like my favorite thing in the whole world. Mm -hmm. Not being able to move or, yeah. Do things freely. Exactly. Move around, do, do everything freely, move and do what I want at every precise moment. Yes. <laughs> okay. Okay, can you stop playing for a second? Oh. Just, just one second. I just... <laughs> All right. Now, if any of these herbs don't work for you, you don't like the smell, or you have um, a sensitivity to maybe the Asteraceae family, or a sensitivity to lavender, feel free to like change up the amounts or add a different herb that um, has the same sort of effect. That kind of sleepy, so, so you can sleep and rest type thing. That's yes. awesome, Shamra. She said, um, she's drinking hot golden milk with ashwagandha, and she's very relaxed. Excellent. Uh, it does sound relaxing. So relaxing. That's I wonderful. Lindy apparently is relaxing herself. <laughs> I think this is kind of like to her one of those small like raking things. What is that like? Yeah, the, the, the small little, tiny little... garden with the rake yeah, for the sand. Garden. Yes. That is exactly what this is. All right. I'm trying to because I'm both tired and stressed at the same time. Why are you stressed? I okay. don't. You need ashwagandha. All I right. Probably do need. So we're gonna throw this in here. It's probably just like and we just need to stress. stir it up. Okay. Zen, the Zen garden. Zen garden. Yes. Yeah, Dad. The Zen garden. I think we all need to do Zen gardens a little bit more. Find something that just relaxes. There's people that carry around you know, like stress balls in their pockets so they can squeeze or... Or like those little... Um, spinners? Fidget, uh, not fidget, not um, spinners, the fidgeting squares where they have like uh, light switches and snap and yeah. slide and squish. Yeah. But that doesn't seem actually relaxing. It just seems like you're getting some nervous energy out. Relaxing oh. to me is that sort of, I don't know, that monotonous oh, yeah, that movement where it's repetitive and and maybe okay. textural. Yeah, those other ones really are just for nervous energy. Yeah. All right, so you're going to stir this up really, really well. You're probably going to have to get your fingers in there because there will be um, chunks of oil and you want to sort of just blend it evenly yeah. all throughout the, the salt. Then, when you are done with that, when you're you're done blending it and it's nice and even, I want you to get a um, one of the trays from your, hopefully you have one, a dehydrator. If not, cover a cookie sheet in parchment paper, pour it in there, and then put it in a super, super low oven, the lowest that you can possibly go. Maybe turn the oven on and start letting it preheat and then turn it off and let it dry in, um, in your oven. I prefer the dehydrator because you can control 
the heat, um, the heat and all of that. Since you you do have some herbs in there, you don't want to Bake have it super high and yeah, be baking your herbs. So Jelaine says that she knits. Ah. It's a perfect active meditation because she can never shut off. Yeah, no, repetitive I repetitive and relaxing. I totally agree. I think knitting is great. It's it's <laughs> a it's that nice yeah repetition and you you have the texture of the soft yarn that you're dealing with and actually you don't have yes in knitting you have two in crocheting you have one yes I struggle with either one of those I would love to sit down and learn how to knit or crochet although I don't know that I would actually do it no I didn't say issues I I said I just learning them I I haven't ever my mom tried to teach me and I could do some basics, but when you start adding like patterns and turnings and counting, I I'm counting. I'm like, what? I want to relax when I do this. I can make a very long string. I've never been able to make anything other than a string. It just never made sense to me for some reason. I just put in the wrong alcohol in this. I was supposed to use... Brandy. Brandy. You guys, <laughs> when you make my ginger liqueur, use brandy, not vodka. I was not thinking... So we're going to have a little bit different. I think what I'll end up doing is adding a little bit of brandy to the drink because I need to have brandy liqueur. I had it so, right in front, like right in front of all the yeah, ginger you're liqueur right. stuff. And I didn't oops. even. What? Wait. So what's the difference in alcohol percentages? Percentage, I, I'm, not, I'm not concerned about that. It's Although flavor. one is 100, yes. It's just it's a distinct sweeter flavor. Oh. It definitely has its own flavor. So use brandy, not vodka. The vodka Oops. is going to go here, and now I don't know if I actually have enough. Oh, yeah, you have enough. To make my... Um, I'm going to make it with some brandy in that. <laughs> yeah, no. Ew, that would be weird. No, yeah, we have enough. We have no. enough. What? I don't think I do. There's, there's another. Where's my thing? Oh, it's right here. We're so unorganized right now. It's not yeah. plugged in. Nothing's happening. I don't Isn't know. Isn't that plugged in? No. It's a three prong. Oh. I'm gonna have to do it off camera, you guys. You just See, go right there. This is this is You'll the see. thing. You're okay. <laughs> this is the thing. It's not alive with us if something doesn't go wrong. That's, That's when true. we know a live has happened. That's true. Shamra says you still have half an orange there. Make another one. Yeah, I could, and then I would end up with twice again. I, I'm going to just stick with what I got, and next week when I make my drink, it'll taste slightly different than your drink that you'll be making with that. Brandy. Yeah. So you said brandy is sweeter? It's a little bit sweeter, yeah. It's got a very distinct flavor. Okay, okay. I'm going to blend. All right, so what did I blend? I blended... Um, Douglas fir. Douglas fir leaves and small twigs in there. So it can have a nice, um, honestly, when I was pulling the needles off, I was like, oh my gosh, it smells like Christmas. It smells so nice in here. You have like the, the lavender. Oh my word, here. that's almost ridiculous. So it good. It almost tastes, I mean, smells. Taste, smells citrusy. Well, yeah, because there's citronella in, uh, in pine trees. Oh, I'm going to have barely enough. There we go. I got With it. With like a quarter cup to spare. Woo! All right. I don't have a lid. Okay. That's all right. I have it labeled. And what we're going to do with this Douglas fir vodka is you're going to let it sit, um, shake it. And you don't have to, but I'm going to probably shake it each day. And just let it sit for two to three days. And then taste it and see how it is. And if it's tasting nice and citrusy and that got that strong kind of pine taste, then go ahead and strain it off. It does not need to sit for a week like your liqueur does, okay? So by next week, if you have make these with me, and if you're ginger liqueur, if you don't have the ingredients and you need to go out tomorrow to purchase them, and then you make it, you'll be able to still make the drink with me next week. It's yeah. not a big deal. I, I would say as long as it's sitting for at least five days, you're gonna have that nice, strong ginger liqueur flavor, mm -hmm. um, hopefully with the brandy. And um, and then your Douglas fir will be done in the next three days or so. So that will be easy. All right, so we have got our salt here. Oh, it smells really good. It does. Looks really nice. 
And okay, so this one is making four cups. Feel free to multiply. You can multiply this out if you want to, or what you can do as far as a Christmas gift goes is make individual bags or jars to give each person. So one, a one cup jar like this and fill it up and then just tell them, you can attach a little muslin bag if you want to and just tell them, you know, put this entire thing into a muslin bag and tie it and drop it into your tub and allow it to basically steep yeah. in the tub and let the salts melt and the aromatics get released in the heat. Um, and that can be part of your Christmas basket. You don't have to make four cups for every person. Just give them, you know, little bits. So we've got this. There's several gifts in there, and you can just kind of disperse and make little herbal gift baskets that are special for each person. Yes? Shira asks, can you use dried orange peel? Yeah, that's not going to make a huge difference. Um, it's maybe going to be a little more bitter because it's not going to have um, all the those citrusy essential oils. So you're, you're gonna get a little bit of a different flavor. Um, but if you don't have an orange sitting there, if you have lemon, that might work better than dried. I would say any citrus peel, except maybe grapefruit, maybe don't use that. Mm -hmm. um, but a, lem a lemon or an mm, orange. Pretty much a lemon or yeah, orange. Yeah, would work yeah. really well in this. And if you don't have either one of those, then go ahead and use the dried. That's fine, but you like I said, it just might be a little more bitter. But it's you're not putting that much in there. If you're using dried, don't do more than like um, an eighth of a teaspoon, and that's it because it's half of a small orange. Mm -hmm. So, all right, so yeah, make sure to go and check out our Christmas gift. Also, we don't like to forget about Thanksgiving, so oh, yeah, we have a recipes book and planner yeah so for the people that for pr have purchased that we as we get closer to thanksgiving we will be demonstrating a couple of those recipes two or three of the recipes live here um, with all of you so that you can make it with us or at least feel equipped and ready to make mm -hmm. that recipe yeah so all right um, I think that's it, and I hope to see some of you at the live Q&A tonight in about an hour. I will be on there, and we'll see, and we'll talk about nettles and um, the microbiome, your gut flora and your gut health. All right, that is it. Thank you so much for coming to our live. Until next time, health and joy. Bye.